Hey friends, welcome back to Bitfumes. I'm your host Sarthak and this is a channel where I talk about Laravel and the cool thing about Laravel. So if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. Okay, so in this episode, I'm going to show you how you can protect a file or secure a file from an user. Let's say you have a user and you want the user to only access that file after he or she can log in. Or let's say if you have a file you only want to show to admins not to users so how you will do that thing so for that obviously we need a user login system so we can easily use the PHP artisan auth command to create that so I will go to terminal and here I will say PHP artisan make auth and hit enter and everything is now create it so i will close these files from here and now inside our resources folder i have the auth folder which has login register everything and obviously in the seventh episode i have created these database things so i have user table i have password reset table both are here so let's quickly create that file so i will go to home page that means welcome page and register so I will just register Sarthak Shavastu Bitfumes and 1 2 3 4 5 6 again 1 2 3 4 5 6 hit register and we are now registered so let's see in the user table yep so now let's try to access a file or an image so I will go to file and you can see I have this image I try to open this and yes, it's easily available to us but if I logged out and try to use it's available now also but what I want I want to I want to secure this file I don't want to anyone to see this file publicly so what I will do I will just go here on my sublime open the web.php file and here on the web.php file what I will do I will just make a route so I will say route it's a get request and I will say uh, let's say upload that file so my route name is uploaded file and this will go to file controller at get file and I will name it get file get dot file oops dot file and it's done so now we have created our route so I will delete this so that you can easily see and obviously I will do one thing more and it's more readable okay so I have created this route from here and which says uploaded file when I go to this uploaded file and obviously here I can say the file name so now uploaded file and file name what it look like obviously I want to show you it's just say when I go to uploaded file slash let's say file name dot jpg and when I go here it will point out to this route so yeah you can see here it says get file function is not found on the file controller so let's quickly create that thing so I will go to app HTTP controller and file controller and here I will just say it's so big <laughs> okay now pub enter and get file and it accept the file name I will try to return file name so that we can verify our system so hit refresh what it says public 33 because of this yeah uh, it's going to be here now it's fine go here hit refresh and you can see what I whatever I have typed here it's now here and now what I am going to do I'm going to give the file from the storage folder 
so whatever so for that what I have to do so now here I will return one thing which is response and download okay and here storage underscore path and after this inside here I will give the path which is public slash upload and after that slash also dot file name okay and after that null 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 and it's done and now what I have to do I have to go to Chrome hit refresh and you can see it says file not found exception that means it's not getting that file name so let's see how we will deal with this error so let's try and catch thing so I will say try and catch and for exception it's still like this and here it is so let's try this and if it not work then catch and I will say return file not found and it's our exception okay so you can obviously return anything you want I'm trying to return the string so let's see let's refresh this page and you can see file not found okay so I think for this lecture I can remove these things so you can create your exception your try and catch thing but we will just focus on this thing okay so let's see what are the files we have on our storage folder so we have file upload 9.jpg so I will give here that file name so it's uh, file upload 9 dot jpg hit enter it says again file upload 9 dot jpg not found why that's because you can see here it says 5.4 storage then public but our file is inside storage app public so here I have to say app public upload and hit refresh and you can see the file is here but now the main point what you can see I have given it a name but I want to give a middleware also so I will say middleware middleware will be auth okay so I think it's small a and now as you can see I have not logged in and it says middle weight <laughs> what is weight middleware okay refresh you can see I am not logged in and now when I refresh here asking for login so now let's try to again try to access that file so I will say file upload sorry upload file and it is file upload 9.jpg hit enter and it's not getting it's not letting you to see that file but let's try to log in one two three four five six login and you can see now we have access that file you can see I'm refreshing and it's not moving us to the login page but let's refresh here I want to home log out refresh and it's done so you can see how much easy is to say anything and now the main point is that you can easily manipulate with your route you can easily change your route whatever thing you want okay so I think it's a very 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 useful thing for you for everyone and if you have liked this episode don't forget to give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and like bitfumes on Facebook Twitter and Instagram so that everyone get the knowledge of best thing called Laravel and if you have any request I will complete that request very soon and we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye